Hello, this is Carly Boy, and I'm here to demonstrate a little security breach scenario which I've developed using some other smaller tools like a Conboot or Anti Offline Password and Registry Editor. Uh, this scenario is uh, perfectly suitable for a corporate environment uh, where are uh, computers which have passworded access to BIOS, but they are set up to boot from the network, aka the PXE. We are going to exploit that, uh, setting up our own PXE server, which will provide DHCP and TFTP servers to boot our own binary on the computer. And we are going to use that to disable firewall on the target station, uh, enable remote desktop, and uh, enable the attacker to log in without any password. So what I have here is a freshly installed virtual machine, uh, which has Windows XP with service pack, so I'm going to start it up and we can see it is uh, set up to boot from the network uh, it would time out eventually but I'm just going to press escape to make it boot faster so like I said it's freshly installed Windows XP service pack 3 it has also all available updates from Windows update installed so we could say it's pretty secure uh, what else is there is a Microsoft Security Essentials software, which is up to date. And uh, it's uh, basically in the default settings, so that means there are no third party software or no server uh, options altered. We can see that there's an account John, which is password protected. But if we type in the right password, of course, we, will. we are going to boot and login. <coughs> we can see the security essentials running. Just a couple of seconds until it boots. Uh, what we can see is that uh, there is remote desktop disabled, which is the default default setting. And also, if we look into control panel and uh, firewall settings, we can see that the firewall is enabled and that there are only two exceptions enabled, which is a diagnostic tool for XP and a remote help, which shouldn't be confused with remote desktop, which is disabled. So uh, by no means we are now able to log in to the remote desktop because it's disabled as a feature and also blocked by the firewall. What we are going to do now is, uh, yeah, here I have another Windows XP machine, uh, which is, uh, not importantly modified and I have a software server which is a uh, simple yeah it's just free version modified uh, it's a simple TFTP and DHCP server which is going to let the other machine boot from it and provide necessary means to uh, run one of these two options first we are going to boot the no prey options which is uh, uh, Linux based uh, NT offline password and registry editor, which is a tool based on Linux and it has all NTFS drivers so it is able to mount the Windows partition and modify the registry. And that's exactly what we, are, what we are going to do. So we are going to disable the firewall, enable remote desktop, and we are going to disable the the bubble pop up which is going to pop if we disable the firewall so we are going to disable that too uh, so our user doesn't get suspicious so let's just see I've just started it so it should work now we can see that the default is a no prey so I'm just going to reboot this machine And there we can see get IP address and it's booting now. Now it's loading drivers, modifying the registry, and there we get this message which gives us 30 seconds to switch this option to con, disable the server, save the settings, and then enable it again. And then we'll just wait. It's of course a fake message which I've inserted there to give me the 30 seconds because otherwise it would be too quick that I wouldn't be able to just switch the configurations and it would do no prey again, which is nothing that we want.
and this this option yeah you could see it just flashed blank for a couple of seconds and this is the conboot image conboot is a available tool which uh, gives you the option to uh, boot from CD or diskette or USB stick and when it boots it gives you the option to log in without password to any Windows account there is to log in uh, it works by hacking Windows process memory uh, but uh, I have to modify it because uh, it uh, in normal version it displays color for uh, startup screen with uh, conboot logo and also copyright notice uh, but uh, that would make our user suspicious wouldn't it so I just use the hex editor to remove the text from the file so it just shows a blank screen for a couple of seconds so what we have here is a fr freshly booted machine you can see John can still log in with his password but when I look here I can see the IP address just pinging it gives me the hint that I've already disabled the firewall because ping was also disabled by default and now it's enabled so when the John logs out I can use this computer or any other com network computer what the hell okay apparently I don't have the client here but I'm going to use my own with my host device and I'm going to enter the password of the victim machine connect and as you can see there's this login screen Windows XP which is uh, just this one basically and we also know that John has the password set up so what if I just don't enter the password and you can see it let me in and I'm on John's desktop and I'm also user with administrator rights so I can do basically anything you can see that the computer is locked and used by user John and I can do whatever I want and then just log out also John even locally can use no password to login and it's going to work either way so that's uh, the options that the con boot gives us it's pretty good also I'm going to show one more trick which can be achieved by the con boot and that is here on the login screen if I press shift five times and very fast I get this this window which is basically a system account window so I can do any modifications to the computer that I want even without logging to any any username it's a very powerful tool and uh, with the hex I've done to it removing the startup screen it's perfectly invisible and undetectable so I guess that's all guys I hope you enjoyed the video maybe I've raised your security concerns you're gonna be more careful disable your PXE when you don't need it disable other boot tools too so just take care and have a nice day